Revenge is a dish best served cold. Disney Plus K-drama Revenge of Others is finally here, and we have two episodes released. I have watched them at once and I am eager to share my thoughts and feelings with you. First, I'd like to mention that there are a lot of scenes with cruelty, bullying, blood, fights, so it's 18 plus for sure. Now let's take a closer look to plot. Boy and girl twins were separated in childhood. The boy was adopted by one family, while the girl remained in the orphanage. Being separated, the two kept in touch with each other, communicating via phones. The story begins with a brother and sister talking via video link, when the call is suddenly cut off and her brother is pushed down from the window on which he was sitting. The police wrote off the case as a suicide and Chan Mi, a twin sister, decides to transfer to the same school where her brother studied to uncover the truth about her brother's death. There she meets actor Park Solomon's character Ji Soo Hyun, who has a difficult fate. His mother is in the hospital and there is not enough money for him to support her and on the top of that doctors found a tumor in his head and they say that he has a year maximum left to live. His doctor warned him that his personality could change and he would become either aggressive person or either a coward. Apparently, he would become aggressive. He is engaged in wrestling and according to the plot, it is with his hands a revenge of Ava will be carried out. I understand that it's almost impossible, but I still want the character of Pax Lamon to survive. Will a miracle happen? It's not fair to help others and to die in the end. There is another actor in the drama, So Ji Hoon, who recently played a tragic role in Seasons of Blossom. As seen, his character in the story doesn't have a happy fate too. He is from a rich family, but he has some problems with the memory after the accident. He seems to be a very kind person by now and kind of likes Chen Mi and teaches her shooting. Many actors in the drama are rookies, but so young, beautiful and talented that they are pleasant to watch. I really liked the blonde girl, one of the victims of bullying, whom Solomon's character helped to get rid of bullying and try to live on. These lover boys reminded me of F4, the difference is that they just didn't change and improve as F4 but continued being bad guys. The scenes at the end of the second episode are very intense and violent and we understand that Chan Mi's brother most likely wasn't on the side of the victim but he himself was that bastard. And who knows, maybe he was pushed off the window by one of his victims. So as you see, I'm really hooked by this drama and there are no boring moments here at all. It's a must watch drama for all who like thriller, mystery and revenge theme. There will be in total 12 episodes, in my opinion that's a great amount of episodes, not too short and not too long. New episodes of drama are coming out every Wednesday on Disney Plus. Thanks everyone for watching, who else has already watched the first episodes? Share your thoughts in comments.